The two most useful things to create head direction in my drawings. Now, is it the Loomis method or some fancy grid method? No. Nah. For me, it's the ears and the nose and the relationship between them. Let me explain. I'm gonna be using this plain Jane to demonstrate. And if you want your own, they're gonna be releasing soon. So go check the link in the bio. So if you take a look at the front view here, you can see that the bottom of the ears and the nose line up, giving the illusion of a front facing head. If we scooch the nose down, this can help give the illusion of the head being tilted down. If we scooch it back up, then we can see the illusion of an upwards tilt of the head. This also works for me with three quarter view heads as well. It's super useful, particularly when I'm trying to get a head direction when I'm doing quick gesture figure drawings. Now this placement of the ears and the nose is just one ingredient to get the head direction feeling correct. But their 